Today I'm going to show you step by step how I created this Instagram reel using Canva on my phone. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my phone. We're gonna start by opening the Canva app and we're gonna go to the video section. From here, we're going to select mobile video and let's select blank. While Canva opens the editor, I just want to mention that you can follow this tutorial even if you have a Canva free account. We're gonna use free videos available in the Canva library and all the features and tools that we're gonna use today are completely free to use. Okay, now I have the editor opened and the first thing that I want to do is to upload my video. So I previously recorded a video of myself to use at the beginning of the reel. So to upload a video, you go to Uploads, go to Upload Media, and from here you can select Photo Library. Your video will appear below the Videos tab and it will have a little loading bar at the bottom of the video. Just wait a couple of seconds until the video is fully uploaded to Canva and then you can start editing your video. Okay, so I have my video ready. I just select it. And from here, I'm gonna go to the menu below, go to more and set video as background. If you need to trim a section of your video, maybe at the beginning or at the end, just select the thumbnail below and you can drag these arrows to trim a section from the beginning or from the end of your video. From here, I'm gonna start adding the following sections of my video. To do this, I'm gonna add a new page and then I'm gonna select the background of this page. Then go below and select replace. From here, I'm gonna work with the videos available in the Canva library, so I go to videos. But if you want to work with your own videos, you can use the uploads section. So I will go to videos and from here I'm gonna search for aesthetic. aesthetic. In here you can select the footage that will go at the beginning of the video right after the intro. So I will go for this one, then we can go at the end of this timeline, go to add page, select the background, replace, and then we can continue adding footage to the following sections of our video. From here, I also want to mention that these videos that we see here on top of the screen, these are free to use. If you happen to see a pro label on a video, that means that this video is available for Canva Pro. So for today's tutorial, I'll be selecting only free footage available in Canva. I want to mention that I'm really happy to see so many free videos available in Canva. Before we used to see a lot of pro videos. So it's really nice to see that we now have a lot of media to choose from and it is available to all Canva users. I'm gonna continue doing this process until I have my intro plus seven sections. If at any point you need to delete one of these sections that you are adding to your video, you can go to this icon, grid view, and then select the specific page you want to delete and select delete. I have all the sections of my video ready and now I'm gonna show you a little trick so you can set a duration to all the pages in your video. So to do this, go to the plus icon to add a new page and then go to the menu below, select the time icon and from here, I'm gonna move the slider so I can set the timing to one second. Once you have your timing ready, select apply to all pages. Close this window and now we can delete 
this page because we don't need it anymore. Delete. Now I'm going to the beginning of my timeline and because I do want my first video to last more than one second, I just need to drag this video until I have the full duration or the full length of the first video. Now I'm gonna add text to my videos. Select the plus icon below and search for text. In here, we're gonna add a heading. And from here, I'm gonna customize the text on this text box. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate the text box and customize this text right here. To change the font, simply select the text box and go to the menu below to font. For this one, the first text box, I'm going to use a font called margin. This is a free font and then done. For the second text box, we're going to use a different font. This time we're going to search for Nectarine. All the fonts that I'm going to use today are completely free. Okay. If you want to change the color of the font, you have the option here on the same menu. So go to color. I'm going to use a white color on my fonts. And then I'm also going to add an effect to this text box so it is easy to read them. So I'm going to search for the option effects and add lift. This is simply adding a shadow behind the text. So I'm going to do this for both of my text boxes. Let's adjust the size of the text boxes. And lastly, before moving to the next sections of my video, I'm going to add an animation. So select one of the text boxes and search for the button animate. I'm going to add the pan animation, which is here. And if I tab one more time, I'll be able to change these settings. So I'm going to use on enter. And then if you have a Canva Pro account, you can also adjust the speed and direction. In my case, because I have a Canva Pro account, I'm able to choose one of these directions. So I'm going to change it to the left. I'm going to do the same process for the second text box. I have my text boxes ready and I just need to adjust the position a little bit because when I preview the video, I see that the text boxes are always on my face. So I think I can position them just slightly up like this. And then I can preview the video again and I think that's, that's good enough. Right. Now what I'm going to do is to add one text box to each of these sections and I'm going to add a different font for every single section. So basically the idea with this reel is that I'm sharing with you guys different fonts that I like. So every section of the video, I'm showing a different font. In your case, you could use this video editing idea if you are sharing tips or steps or also something like keywords, fonts, in case that you are creating content related to design. Okay, so I'm going to position myself on page number two, go to the plus icon, add a heading, and then I'm going to follow again all the processes that I just showed you. I'm going to customize the text inside the text box, change the font, change the color. I did some changes of camera, so I'm going to show you what I did. I ended up adding one text box more below these two in the intro of my video. And on each of the sections, I added one text box with a different font for each section. 
so it is looking something like this and now we are ready to download this video so let me show you how to do this go to the menu on top of the screen and select share from here select download mp4 all pages and download and this is the final outcome. If you want this reel to have music, you can add it directly from Instagram. I have another tutorial in which I teach you this other video editing trend. So if you are interested, I'm gonna leave you guys the tutorial right here. And if you are interested in taking a 45 free trial of Canva Pro, I'm gonna leave you guys the link down below. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye!